also on the uh, constant search for water on property, um, I'm quite a bit uphill from the camper, uh, almost, you can kind of see the purple door through the woods there, uh, almost exactly uh, level with the tiny home. Um, I chose this spot because I'm a little bit higher up here. I've got a couple of divots in the ground that come out and around. Um, and I have a ton of rotted out stumps and trees that um, have died and have rotted. Um, and everywhere that that is um, the case around the property, there's groundwater fairly, fairly easy to find. Um, finding groundwater has not been the problem. We have, um, a, a immense amount of it as our, um, lovely neighbor told us it was too wet of a site to build. Um, but finding it at the depth that is safe for possible drinking, for processing, for home use, um, is a whole different thing. But Look at that. this hole, yeah, the water did not start here until we were a little over three feet down and you want to be at least three feet so what i have here is we have dummerston style soil um it's got a lot of material in it but it's it's not it's not very thick slow to compost and not a lot of uh actual like dirt yeah there, there's very little dirt it's, very it's all it's all it's all um area. yeah it's it's all just plant material and then it was a layer of very dry clay. And then the very dry clay started turning <laughs> into slightly moist clay, um, which I would expect it being the middle of spring. And then the clay got a little wetter and a little wetter. And then as it was getting more wet and I was actually being able to squeeze the clay and have moisture come out of it, it started getting kind of gravelly. And then I kept having larger stones coming out and then we hit where there was water. Um, we walked away, had a, had a water break because this was a lot of work. And it filled in with about two inches of water in the time it took to drink a can of seltzer. Uh, oh, there. I, I was like, what are you grabbing for? It was the, the tape on my belt. <laughs> um, so let's see where we're at. See, we got, we're down a little over three feet now. A little over three feet. 36 inches, uh, there are 41, and we have about three inches in rising of water at the bottom. So next steps, uh, as you can see, we're kind of coming out this way. We have to open this up so it's big enough to stick a five-gallon bucket down there. What we'll do is we'll um, come out, we'll, we'll try to um, siphon out the water as much as we can, get it um, so that the bucket is is down low, lower than the level of the water is coming out of the wall, um, if, if that is attainable for us. And then we'll be able to time the amount of time that the it takes for five gallons of water to build up. And that will give us our flow rate. Um, it's just going to be a lot of work because <laughs> we can't, we're not going to be able to get any equipment up here. Oh, hi girls. <laughs> yeah, it's it would be very expensive if we did. It would be a pain in the butt. I've got gardens all through here. We've got some really big um, trees. Um, so that would be a pain. Um, but, you know, obviously if we're going to be running lines, we might need to get equipment anyway. But for, ooh, for an actual um, spring, I am much more likely to uh, rent equipment to do all the things that we need to for that yeah, as opposed to investigation yeah as opposed to being up here digging in the woods um digging in the woods is not uh that's something that we've been just doing by hand and we've done oh goodness probably half dozen or more holes. yeah half dozen or more um holes most of them we get a foot down and that's when we start hitting the water and that's just way too close to the surface that's going to be sketchy um let's get some filtration yeah it's more likely that the groundwater is not getting in there because we're, we're past the impermeable layer yeah the 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 feet it's already clearing up on top you can see with all that dripping going in there you probably can't see on the camera but... probably not the oh 
We have a down child. Uh, someone's going to go need to go see them, so I'm going to stop filming. For anyone who was worried, the baby's fine. Ah, she knocked her head into a rock, which is par for the course when you play outside around very large rocks. Uh, I'm going to be continuing to do video of us um, doing that um, spring. That is probably the best site that we found. So it is probably going to be the one that we're going to start to develop, even if it just ends up being water for the chickens. Maybe we'll put a flushing toilet in. That would be fancy, wouldn't it? Very, very. Uh, for plants, having running water available all year would be very nice. Maybe, um, maybe we'll stick our aquaponics up there. Who knows? Having it, developing it, uh, that's pretty great. Um, might be able to find something similar up by the Forever Home Garden or Forever Home site. But that is not today. Today, we are happy to have found the water that we found. And uh, we're going to start to develop it. So if you found this video interesting or you'd like to know more about no. um, digging a spring no. uh, while dealing with small children being completely ridiculous, um, <laughs> please follow along.